probably well overdue a video update. So what's been going on lately? Well, I've been digging holes. <laughs> this is for the grey water system because we're not going to have a septic tank so all of the grey water, which is water that comes out of the sinks and showers will come out of these pipes here and along and into two planters on either side here and then I've also been digging out this is our water tank digging out oh shandy shandy time yeah it's inside um, this is our water tank which hopefully next week will finally get covered over with cement and then we will have a lovely big terrace so this is going to be our summer terrace and we've just been designing the gardens in this area um, so that we can also plan the grey water system because that's something because we don't have a septic tank that's going to be absolutely essential um, it's going to be absolutely essential because otherwise we can't use any water in the house because it doesn't have anywhere to go um, the veggie plot isn't looking amazing. We've not really had much time to put into it. Anyway, here is our plan for this garden. This is the house, and so this is the terrace, which is this area here. And then next to the terrace, we're going to have some bamboo to uh, collect the water from our showers. So bamboo likes lots of uh, water, so it will grow nicely. And then we're actually going to put a shower inside the bamboo. And then on the edge of the bamboo, a little pond with a bridge over it. We're going to have a nice big play area here, maybe some lawn. So we can do our acro yoga. And here we're going to put in three date palms, which I am currently growing from seed. So they'll take a while before we can hang some hammocks up. So um, they they are laid out in a triangular fashion so that we can lay three hammocks off and then along here there's going to be another two planters on either side of the path where we can um, just just grow herbs and just have plants and what have you because you're not supposed to grow edibles with grey water um, then we're going to have a big some big kind of tree here which will give us shade in the summer and then probably kiwis uh, for cover over the terrace kiwis and maybe some jasmine for some smell and then I'm probably gonna have my outdoor gym over here so that's what's been going on here here we've got uh, just you know this is where we can redirect the water coming from the roof so we can uh, take it into the water tank or take it elsewhere I have to dig um, a trench and take it over and out um, over there somewhere where when the earth is saturated with water and the water tank is full it doesn't flood us so what have we been doing inside inside we have most of the walls plastered now well at least the base coat um, here you can see we've got the base coat on this is all done we've decided to leave this this bit of stone showing the stone pillar and then tomorrow we are going to his Tracy tomorrow we're going to be plastering this wall uh, we're going to be doing, trying all different colours and finishes um, for the outside, for this wall in the middle, here. Colours are on the table. Ah, so here we have some different stains, stains? I don't know what... Pigments. The, pigments, that's it. So different pigments, we've got uh, okra and... Uh, I don't think it's called okra. Whatever whatever it's called Azul Ultramar, whatever that is in English 
and a few different things um, that we will be mixing with lime to make our own colours and then we're either going to fresco them onto a base of lime which is painting them on whilst the lime is still wet or we will um, just mix the pigment directly in with the lime and then apply that because this wall here in the middle we want to do some you know nice colour the rest of the walls will be white um, and we've got some people coming in to do that the last coat this because the walls are so big uh, they need to be done well all walls need to be done in in one day basically so that the final coat so that you don't see the join uh, in between like there for example in the middle here you can see where I plastered one bit one day and then another bit another day and so if you don't want to have that you need to plaster it all in one day so we will have um, two friends in to plaster, well some people we've met up here, we've got all the stonework finished we've cleaned that all up to where we're happy with it and what we got going in here tomorrow we have somebody coming to tile the bathroom um, so this bit here tomorrow we will get tiled and we also have a stone edge ledge well you can see it here actually it's a piece of marble um, that we will put on the edge there unfortunately they cut it too short so they've had to make us another piece which will be coming tomorrow and that will go all the way along there so tomorrow we're going to get uh, the bathroom tiled so that will be amazing and we have the shower is all ready um, for the tiling nothing much new going on in here oh new uh, we decided we were going to make that window bigger so I did I made the hole bigger and we ordered a new window and then we were left over with a spare window so we thought where can we put the window and so we put it up in the north up here on the north side of the house you can see the smaller window so I opened up the hole in the wall and put in the window you can see here the column is all finished ready for a final coat of plaster and upstairs yeah with the with the column like this and we've finished this wall over here still seems to be drying out and then on this wall here the north wall we've decided we're going to do a insulated layer for this wall so we're going to um, use some cork which I'll show you in a minute so we're going to add natural cork to the lime mix and give a two centimeter uh, layer and then that will give us insulation from the cold coming from the north wall because we're not going to insulate the outside for at least another year finish the outside then that will give us some protection this winter and here is the view from our new window that's crazy <laughs> the view from our new window up top that we decided to put in because we had a spare window there's the sun going down over the top of the hill um, there's Pepe's so yeah we've come a long way and the finish line is just ahead we can finally see it it's still off in the distance but um, the next steps are to get next steps are to get our friends into plaster once these big walls are plastered well before that actually we have to plaster this in, in between wall I think the day after tomorrow we're going to plaster do the finish coat on the kitchen down here um, and then yeah we do the finish coat on there on the kitchen we do the finish coat on this middle wall then our friends are going to come in to plaster these two big walls then once that is done we're going to get 
some other people in to lay the tiles. We have bought the tiles. We have the tiles already. And then once the tiles are laid, um, yeah, we're basically there once the tiles are laid. We've got all our tiles here. You can see these terracotta tiles. This one's a bit dirty, but you get the idea. So, yeah, once the tiles are laid, um, then most of the big work is done. And then it's just a case of installing the kitchen and finishing, doing a, a few bits of finish work. And, uh, and well, we're not done. We have, we'll still have the bedroom in here to finish off. We've got that wall to plaster. And we have the main bathroom to do. And, uh, and then, well, then we'll probably start with the outside of the building. So we'll, uh, we've got to dig up all of these terraces um, around here, like I've done on the other side. So dig up all the dirt. We need to do this before winter comes, actually, because we were getting quite a lot of soakage in from, uh, from the rain. But I think as soon as the guttering is up, on uh, on both sides here, that that will be a lot better. But anyway, I want to dig this all out. Here's Monkey. She's in hunting mode at this time of night. So dig this all out like I've done here. Lay gravel, and then we'll probably do cement because I'm I'm not sure about anything else. Oops, my pump is running dry. I think. Um. So yeah, but that's it. I've got a bit more gravel here to lay. And what's going on in the veggie plot? In the veggie plot, oof, it's a bit jippo this year. We've not been looking after it much because we've not had any time. But we've got our tomatoes, which are looking okay. It's all our tomatoes. So we've got a big row of tomatoes here at the back. And then you can see all the artichokes which have gone to seed. Here we have some uh, lettuces and onions. The lettuces are starting to bolt because we haven't picked them. Um, here we have pepinos. I can't remember what they're called in English, um, but they're doing really well. Aubergines, and then uh, some courgettes, which aren't very happy. Here we have melons. These melons are doing really good. And we have pumpkins over here, the big, big type of pumpkin. They're looking a lot happier now than they were at lunchtime, that's for sure. Um, they were all droopy at lunchtime, but I think that's just because of the heat. Here we have butternut squash. They're not doing too well either. Um, and these are courgettes. They're not very happy. I don't know what's up with the courgettes. Over this side we have strawberry bed, which they're not very happy either. I think they're not getting enough water. They're just suffering a bit with the heat. These ones are covered, but for no particular reason, because they're not giving any strawberries yet. And uh, we're not really looking after them all that much. We don't have time. So we just kind of uh, planted stuff and uh, it's got a look after itself. It's being watered, so that's as uh, good as it gets. Um, these are all peppers, different kinds of peppers. This is a weed. These are all different kinds of peppers, and then more onions. So yeah, that's uh, what's going on at Camandala. We've uh, done a lot of work. This is, you can see all the rubble from me digging out the uh, the dirt from around the house, which was absolutely horrible. It's it's like concrete. So yeah, that's an update from uh, Camandala. We are almost there. Let's see what Tracy's doing. Let's see if we can go around. I think she's cooking dinner. <laughs> what are you doing? Making fish cakes. Fish cakes. Yeah. Fish cakes for dinner, it seems. He's tracing a little kitchen, making fish cakes. Yep. From 
sardines, um, tuna, and salmon. Pink, mm. pink John West salmon from the Atlantic, actually. Lovely. Yeah. Very nutritious. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. Yeah. Okie dokie. So that's all from us. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Have a long video.